In this video, we will cover mounting a quarter turn SQ actuator to a quarter turn valve. The SQ actuator will come with one of two couplings, a short coupling or a tall coupling. Regardless of the coupling, it will need machine to match the valve stem and the keyway on the valve. The tall coupling is often used when you are replacing an existing quarter turn actuator with a new SQ actuator. It would also be used in conjunction with a spacer plate to make up the difference with a taller coupling. The shorter coupling is often used on new actuators being installed to new valves. This is the coupling we will use today. Aligning the keyway on the valve stem, place your coupling on the valve. This is a good time to apply never seize or mounting grease to the coupling in the actuator and valve flanges. The actuator should be installed in the same position as the valve. In this case, our valve is fully closed and our actuator is fully closed. Align the splines on the coupling with the splines in the actuator and drop into place. It may be required to reposition the actuator if your splines do not line up perfectly. With the actuator in place, we will bolt using properly sized bolts the actuator to the We'll now tighten the bolts with the proper torque. Tighten the bolts in a cross tight pattern. The mounting of the actuator is complete. The SQ actuator will ship from the factory with limits and end stops already adjusted. After mounting of the actuator to the valve, if limits are needed to be readjusted, you will also have to readjust your end stops. For adjusting limits, please see our other videos for adjusting limits on your actuator. The end stops are set on the SQ actuator by adjustment screws located behind these two cover caps. The cover caps on this actuator are removed with an Allen wrench. You could also have cover caps that are removed with a flathead screwdriver. The right adjustment is for the clockwise direction and the left is for the counterclockwise direction. This is also engraved into the housing itself so they're easy to identify. In this video, we will show adjustment of the closed end stop. Remove the cover cap for the closed end stop. With the cover cap removed, we can use an Allen wrench to adjust the end stop adjustment screw. Turning the wrench clockwise will decrease the stroke. Turning the wrench counterclockwise will increase the stroke for the end stop. Your end stop should be adjusted so that when the unit stops by limit, it does not touch the mechanical end stop. Once your end stop is adjusted, we will replace the cover cap, being sure the O-ring is still in place on the cover cap. Tighten the cap down and adjust the other end stop if needed. The end stops are now adjusted. 